Uh, thank you all for coming. Laura and I are honored uh, and thrilled that you're here. It's, um, we have a fair amount of lunches and dinners here, and I've got a confession to make. It's my favorite one. <laughs> it's kind of like having your baseball card collection spread out in <laughs> real life. I, um, some of you were here the last time we invited the Hall of Famers here. It was one of the first lunches we had. It's when I discovered that one of the best parts about living in the White House is that when you invite somebody for lunch, they generally come. <laughs> We're glad you're back. Uh, Vice President Cheney is with us. Mr. Vice President, thank you for coming. <laughs> Secretary of Energy Spence Abraham is with us. He is a Tiger fan, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Got a great hall, lot of Hall of Famers. One that I work with on a regular basis, of course, is Senator Jim Bunning. Mr. Senator, thank you for being with us today. I want to thank uh, Jane Forbes Clark, the chairman of the Hall of Fame. Appreciate you being here, Jane. Dale Petrosky, thank you for being here, Dale, as well. He is the president of the Hall of Fame. All the Hall of Famers, we're glad you're here, and thanks for bringing family members, too. You're welcome to the People's House. I, uh, I appreciate the ESPN Baseball Tonight folks who are here, uh, Joe, Tim, and Peter. That's where I get my news. <laughs> they, uh, they do a great job of making, uh, bringing baseball uh, into our homes. Uh, my chief of staff's here, by the way, Andy Card. He is a long-suffering Red Sox fan. I'm glad you're here. And George Will is here as well. Long-suffering Cubs fan. No, it's... But welcome, everybody. I particularly want to congratulate Paul Molitor and Dennis Eckersley, uh, who will be the newest members of the Hall of Fame. Thank you all for coming. We're honored you're here. And congratulations. <laughs> And Ozzie Smith and Gary Carter and Eddie Murray uh, took your rightful place amongst uh, uh, some of the game's greatest players, and we welcome, welcome you here as well. Thanks for coming. Honored you're here, and congratulations. Uh, I can't wait for the baseball season to open. You know, some people, like when they go up to relax, uh, they'll have the symphony on. I have a baseball game on. <laughs> I like to do my prepare for the next day, and my background noise is a baseball game. I'm really looking forward to it, and it's a great way for us to kick off the season here in Washington to have some of the greatest players ever to come and help us kick off baseball. It's such a wonderful sport. It's uh, not any time limits, which means you can go and enjoy yourself. It's a great place to go and relax. It's a wonderful place to visit with somebody you love. It's, uh, it's an important part of, our, part of our history, and we love to herald it here. We love to herald it so much that one of my favorite things to do is to host T-ball on the South Lawn so that future Hall of Famers can come and say to one of their classmates, you know, I love baseball and I got to play at the White House. <laughs> uh, one of the traditions, of course, is um, for the president and to throw out the opening pitch uh, for baseball. I'm going to do so for the cards. I was talking to Phil Necro coming in. My arm's a little sore. <laughs> I was getting suggestions on how to throw a knuckler. <laughs> I uh, also know that a uh, former pitcher for the American Legion team in Casper, Wyoming, will also be throwing out an opening day pitch in Cincinnati. That would be your vice president. He suggested that they not pull out the radar gun. <laughs> you know, I love the game of baseball. I, I grew up loving baseball. It's, it's, it's a sport that's passed down from dad to son, in my case. Actually, my mother. Uh, used to keep score for the Yale Bulldogs. I happened to be one and a half years old when she was keeping score for the Yale Bulldogs. So both my parents passed on the love of baseball. I, I played Little League Baseball in Midland, Texas. That's where I peaked. And uh, <laughs> I actually paid, <laughs> played for the Midland Cubs. Except unlike Ernie Banks, I was not known as Mr. Cub. <laughs> I was known as an all right catcher. I, uh, I think that one of the wonderful things about being with Hall of Famers is you set such high standards for other players, that you set the stage of excellence 
I know there's a lot of players who are uh, getting ready to start the opening season that long to be sitting here in the White House like you are. And uh, you've set such a high mark of how to, be, uh, how to be excellent in a grueling sport, in a sport that requires not only incredible skill but a lot of patience. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And you've set the standard, and we are proud to have the standards that are here in the, the greatest house on the face of the earth, the People's House, the White House. Thanks for coming. May God bless you and your families, and may God continue to bless our great country. Thank you.